If you use Stream Deck and have been having problems with it dropping out of your folders or profiles when you're in the middle of using it, then I think we may have got the answer for you, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec and in this video we're talking about uh, profiles and potentially folders in Stream Deck and really an issue that I've been having, let's face it, <laughs> it's usually an issue that I'm having that I made these videos about, uh, but some of you may have also been experiencing it too. Uh, and what the issue was in uh, specifically was that when I was recording these videos or doing live streams or other things for that matter using the Stream Deck uh, and I'd got it set up with uh, different profiles for my different uh, use cases, uh, um, it would drop out of the profile that I was in and go back to my home screen. And by the way, home screen, I should probably explain that a little bit. In fact, I'll leave a link to a video I did up in the top corner all about that because the way I have my Stream Deck set up is I have one sort of screen, one uh, profile that is, uh, I call it my home screen, and that one has basically links to all of my other different profiles. So it means that rather than going into the pro uh, profile switcher, I can simply just click on the button to take me to that profile. In fact, perhaps I should just actually show you that. <laughs> uh, so here is, uh, this is the profile that I'm in on my Stream Deck at the moment. This is the one that I use to control uh, my Ecamm Live when I'm doing recordings. But if I press this little uh, home button up in the uh, top uh, left-hand corner, then that takes me to this is what I call my home screen and here I have a series of sort of uh, commands along the top row for uh, audio volume things like that changing the audio output uh, and then also switching between spaces then the next two rows are basically all different use cases I have so I've got three different modes for my take one tech stuff uh, one for my podcast and some other companies that I'm involved in and then down at the bottom some uh, the second row sorry, the third row, uh, some sort of application specific uh, profiles. Uh, and then right at the bottom, I have uh, a few little emojis and things like that that I seem to use quite regularly. So uh, that is how I have it set up. And then from this home screen, I can basically press on any one of these uh, little buttons in the middle two rows to take me to, through to one of my uh, sort of work modes, if you like. So if I press this one here for my Take One Tech recording, it takes me back to this one, which is all of the controls that I need right at this moment. Uh, so the problem that I was having is that uh, sometimes I would glance down at the uh, Stream Deck when I wanted to change to a different scene or something only to find that it had gone back to this particular scene, uh, the, this particular profile rather. <laughs> now this is something that also used to happen back in the days when I was uh, uneducated and ignorant and used folders instead of profiles but I still had the similar sort of issue. Now I've often thought that you know this could be uh, maybe because I wasn't using a powered hub because at some point I wasn't using a powered hub um, but even that didn't uh, fix the uh, the issue for me. But thank you to Mr. Michael Powell of uh, Wrinkle City Live because he is the one that gave me the answer, which so far, and I've done a bit of recording and uh, testing with this, and it does seem to have solved the problem. And that is because if I go into my uh, preferences uh, in for Stream Deck and then in the uh, profile section, uh, what I had before is I had the home screen made as my default profile. Uh, which might sound logical because you always want to default to that. But really what that actually does is uh, this profile, it says, as it says underneath it, this profile will appear if you haven't set an application specific profile. And uh, this is the reason why it kept defaulting back to that is obviously I'd set it as a default. And the, the issue would usually arise for me when I was using Ecamm Live and then I would go to do screen sharing or something like that. So maybe open Safari or something and that would become the active application. And so so it was just simply seeing that there was no uh, profile assigned to Safari specifically and so it would just default back to the home screen uh, and that is all it was. I mean it's pretty obvious now that it's been pointed out to me but it may uh, not be <laughs> may not be immediately obvious to everyone. You may think that the home screen would be a logical thing to set as your default so uh, I'm hoping that uh, this helps a few people out and once again thank you to uh, Michael for uh, pointing this out to me because it means that I don't uh, get sidetracked by looking down at my stream deck and realizing uh, it's not where I wanted it to be. So all of those times I've got to apologize to Elgato and stream deck for saying my stream deck was misbehaving. Actually as with a lot of errors I come across in life it is ultimately my human error. <laughs> so uh, 
there we go. I hope that that has helped uh, some of you. And if it has, then uh, please go down and click the like button. And if you've had any other issues with your stream deck uh, or this doesn't solve the problems that you're having, then do leave a note down in the comments as well, because uh, if anybody's experiencing problems with their stream deck, then I always like to figure out why that is as well. So that A, I don't run into them myself and B, I can also make a little video to help anybody else who may be experiencing the same problems. So definitely feel free to uh, comment down below with anything uh, else related to stream deck that you might be experiencing. So uh, that's all for today. Just a little short and sweet video, uh, five minutes. I think that might be a record <laughs> for the shortest video I've done maybe. Uh, but anyway. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will leave a link to my other Stream Deck playlist over on the uh, right hand side. He says, pressing completely the wrong Stream Deck button, having just said that <laughs> my Stream Deck's behaving well. It is behaving well, but I still have to get over the human error thing and press the right button, don't I? Shall I try that again? I will leave a link to my Stream Deck playlist over on the right hand side at the bottom and I hope you have a wonderful day. There's no cure for human error apparently. <laughs>